What's up guys? <clears throat> Welcome to another review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the JBL wireless Bluetooth speaker. Um, so let's get into it. So I received this as a as a gift from um, from my company at the end of year function. Um, along with this, I also received the power bank. If you want to see the review on that video on uh, that video, you can click on the link in the description down below. I'll link it there. You can go and watch that. Um, so basically, in the package, all you get is what you see here. Fortunately, I don't have the package with me anymore. <laughs> Um, so let's start with this little black box. So little black box you open up here, right? Inside here you get you get all the normal stuff. There's nothing else in there, right? That one side. So you get your USB to micro USB charging cable. I like the color of that. That's very cool. And then this little packet you get all the reading material regarding this device. The JBL Go. Right. Is it below? There we go. What's it called? Except mine's blue. And then you get a whole lot of manuals and specs, which I don't normally read. I'm not going to bore you with that. In any case, let me put this one side. So, this little speaker is quite a powerful little speaker, right? I like the design. The outside here is like a rubbery texture. You got the branding on the back there as well. JBL, Frontier, JBL. This is the speaker on the Frontier. Obviously, it's got a JBL speaker in it. Yeah, your little cutout for like a lanyard or something so you can hang it up somewhere. Bottom, you just got some routing and some more branding for JBL. This side, yeah, you've got, I don't know what this is, this little pinhole. I think it's like some kind of reset switch or something, I don't know. Um, you got your micro USB so you, for you to charge it. Because it, it runs with Bluetooth technology so it needs to be charged as well. But a three and a half mil audio input jack, so you don't have to use Bluetooth. You can use an audio jack, plug it into the key, into the speaker, and then plug it into your phone. And along the top here, you've got the buttons. Now I don't know, don't know if you can see that. So here you have the power button. Here you have the Bluetooth button. You, these two buttons here are your volume. So this is to go softer, it's to go louder. And this is a little telephone, so you can just, you can also answer phone calls with the speaker as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my iPhone 5 to show you how the speaker works. Right? Let me just bring this closer over here. Okay. So. This is my iPhone 5 that I have here. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to connect to the Wi Fi. Just give me one second. Let me just make sure I've got connectivity. Okay. So basically, what happens is with the speaker, you press the power button at the top, which is this over here. There you can see it set over there. Press that once. And it makes an audible sound, and you can see the light flash there saying that it was on. Right? And then all you do is you go over to your phone, right? I'm gonna show you this here as well. Put on turn on your Bluetooth. Right? Go to settings. Go to the Bluetooth option. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. And in the bottom here you'll see JBL Go. Right? So it's not connected because obviously we're not paired yet. Connect that. And then it'll, it should connect. And then it says connected. And then the speaker gives you a little audible confirmation saying that it's connected. So at that point you connect it. So all you have to do is go to your iTunes music. Let me go to my music over here. Jeremy Loops. 
Let me play that. Okay, let me turn this up. Okay, that's all coming from the speaker here. Right? Listen to how clear that is. That is very, very clear. Right? And you can, and you can control the volume from the top here. So if I want to put it down, if you look at the screen here, See it going down there so you can control it both you can control it by both uh, either on the top of the speaker over here or from the phone um, by no means is this a substitute for your sound system at a party or something like that obviously you have to take into consideration ambient noise and whatever you right now it's pretty quiet um, but I did it that way so you can listen to what listen to the clarity on uh, that comes from the speaker. I've been pretty happy with this. If you like, if you're somebody who sits by the pool and has a bra or slash a barbecue, if you're coming from the, if you're watching this and you're in Australia, the US, <coughs> sorry guys, or in Europe, um, this is perfect for outdoor. You can put it outdoors, connected via Bluetooth. And you can jam away to your music on your phone. Um, I don't know what the distance is. Um, and I'm not too sure what version of Bluetooth technology it uses. Um, but I'll put a link to the website down in the description where you can purchase this online. And you can have a look and see for yourself. Um, this also comes in a variety of colors. It comes in blue, red. I think it comes in black as well and white. I'm not too sure. But you can have a look and see which one you prefer and you can click the link in the description down below so if that's going to do it for today's review on the jbl go wireless bluetooth speaker if you enjoyed what you saw give me a thumbs up um, subscribe down at the bottom if you're not a subscriber already and leave your and always leave a comment because I like to, I like to, to read what, uh, what, what uh, my users have to say about uh, my videos. Um, and like I said in the previous video, I did a vlog where I asked you guys whether or not I should start doing daily vlogs. Or just stick to these types of videos. Tech videos and so forth. So you can go over and see that video. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. And um, as always, have a nice day.